And we're back with the breakfast this morning to look at, you know, the crisis that has brewed with the People's Democratic Party. However, uh, you know, Ayu and Atiku's camp has clashed. The People's Democratic Party National Working Committee has named uh, Uma Dangumer as the acting national chairman. Until his appointment, he was the PDP national deputy chairperson. And, you know, the PDP spokesperson, uh, Debo Ologoagba made the announcement on Tuesday at the press conference. Now, the appointment follows a high court order restraining Senator Iachu Ayu from uh, parading himself as the party's national chairman. And that's what we have this morning. Abdullahi uh, Mohammed will be joining the conversation. But just before then, let's take a quick look at, you know, one of the G5 governors uh, putting our thoughts on this. We'll be right back. I'm happy that we're here. And you see how God works. All those people who are plotting evil against us, they are not the ones suffering it. Yesterday, we were to Crown Order to commission the Crown Order Model School. Today, we are here. Tomorrow, we'll be at Ruby Bowl to commission the entire rows of Ruby Bowl. Our job ends on May 29. So nobody should say, go and rest. I will only rest after my tenure ends May 29, 2023. So don't think I'm not still governor. I'm still very strong governor from now to that time. So if so don't think I'm not still governor. I'm still very strong governor from now to that time. So if you do anything, I will prepare you. You see how you see how I prepare them now. I don't I don't know that you are suffering it now. I you say nobody can suspend you, but today he has packed up from the office. We have an acting chairman now. Uh, I told him you will go. Whether you like it or not, you will uh, go. Those lawyers telling you that the world has no power to suspend you is only neck. Then you don't understand. When you came, it was the word that suspended second, is it not? And you went and took off, is it not? It is now that you know that's only neck. Let me tell you, since they have not told you, the court has struck off that section of our constitution to say that neck only. So you don't know what and TDP did not even appeal the judgment. So forget their own is God. It was the wasting your time. We are ready to battle. We are ready for the battle. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not from Denway, but I have interest. That interest at IU must go. And I'm going to carry it in May 29 when I leave the uh, office. If you somebody say you will sleep, will you allow him to sleep? Oh. Will you allow him to sleep? A man lost his unit. A man lost his world. A man lost his local government. A man lost his state. He's coming to preside over we who won our unit, won our world. One our local government, one our state, something the water for your head. You cannot live where you do so. If one of us who have lost our own state, what will we be cheering now? You want to use the state to cheer? We are not party to that. Go and bring your own local government. Yeah, we want 32 over 32 house of assembly, isn't it? Are you, how many did you win? Yeah, we want 3 over 3 seniors, not so. Are you, how many did you make? We won 11 out of 13 House of Reps. Are you, how many did you win? Are you, you even lost uh, the man you are supporting for president. You didn't give him the vote. You lost. We, we supported the Southern president and we won in our state. For equity, justice and uh, fairness. So that is all. I'm one of the happiest person. In fact, I wouldn't come to any other to make me more happy. For the man found out the, his word, look at the politician, you will be there, national chairman, your own word will be suspending you. Does he not tell you that you are not on ground? Your own word will be suspending you. And you will go to television to say, only neck, only neck. Stay and wait for neck, you are gone. Well, we're right here and uh, I can't wait to share the thoughts of 
uh, Abdullahi. Abdullahi, are you still with me? Yes, uh, good morning. Good morning, Nigerians. Yeah. So quickly now, I, I want yes, you to, uh, you know, share your thoughts. Nigerians. What are your thoughts to the so reaction quickly, of one of the I G5 to, governors, you know, uh, uh, Riva State to be precise, yes, on Wike, as is responding to uh, the court order uh, following the removal of Ayu? Uh, it, it's quite unfortunate, uh, but it's, uh, to me it's, uh, it's another display of comedy uh, and, and another display of uh, seriousness uh, and, uh, and uh, a confirmation of uh, charlatan attitude that has been displayed by the most visible opposition in Nigerian uh, politics today. I mean, the PDP for the past uh, two years or so, uh, rather than being a serious opposition to the ruling party, the APC, uh, whether you want to say it or not, that has uh, uh, cost Nigerians uh, a, a whole lot of pain, whether we want to admit it or not. But the PDP, rather than being a serious opposition to checkmate the action of the ruling party have become uh, a divided house uh, have become like a laughing stock and have become uh, an opposition unto itself you know uh, and and it's 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 no surprise what is playing out at the moment you know an opposition party that didn't put its house in order uh, definitely uh, we should expect uh, almost nothing from from such party in terms of uh, being uh, a check and balance or even being a serious contender, you know, in order to make sure the ruling party puts its house in order and then preside over Nigeria uh, in a better way. So um, the reaction to me is, uh, is something that is expected. We all know Governor Wiki, uh, you know, uh, so it's, it's, it's nothing very new. But it's, it's also a reaffirmation of the fact that uh, he's a very powerful man within the party. Uh, so many things that he's uh, that he's wanted, uh, or probably some of the things, so many things that he's mentioned to, to, to pass in the party uh, is actually manifesting. So uh, I think uh, perhaps it's time that the People's Democratic Party uh, want to give him a chance to have a very serious say uh, if they want to clinch power probably in the next uh, uh coming elections in 2027 because uh for this uh past election it shows that the their house is not in order and then it is manifested in the result that we saw in the presidential election and even in the governor's election and uh, so many uh, states, uh, I mean, National Assembly election across the state where many of the party stalwarts uh, missed out, uh, unfortunately. So it's nothing new, uh, but it's, it shows a very serious opposition, uh, opposition to the will, to the willing uh, all progressive Congress. Internally, like you have stated, but, you know, uh, you said something that he is you know strong force or strong personality to reckon with in the party don't you think that that's the issue where we constantly have strong persons in our institution even at the party level uh, one expect that whatever is whatever happens at the party level is a reflection of what happens at the national and so if you have strong men uh, at the party level, then it just means that we're just going to be having strong men, you know, uh, above the institutions. So we'd rather have weak institutions and have strong men. Yes, you are right. But that's the way our politics and, have, in fact, uh, our society at large is uh, is designed. You know, we rather than a strong institution, we always have uh, strong men or strong women here and there who dictate what should happen and uh, what should not happen. So it's rather unfortunate, but uh, to be candid and uh, be factual, that is how our society is designed. That is how most of our structures and institutions are designed. Uh, and so it's not, uh, uh, what's it called? It's not uh, <clears throat> new uh, that you have uh, Godfatherism, you have uh, people who decide uh, and, 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 you know, place their interest above uh, that of the institution and majority uh, but again if, if we look at what uh, governor wiki has been fighting for is actually uh is as it is it, it, to his right you know to mention that yes yeah if um the presidential uh candidate of the party i mean the people's democratic party will come from the north it's only uh fair 
uh, that the national chairman should come from elsewhere, not actually the North Central. I mean, uh, as Senator, are yeah, you represent uh, uh, Benue State? So, but but my, my my challenge and my my deepest worry and concern is the way uh, the parties involved, both the G5 governors as well as uh, other stalwarts of the People's Democratic Party, have played out. You know these challenges. Seriously, politics we all know is a, is, is is a game of interest. It's something that I think they should have discussed in house. They should have uh, find a way of um, settling the the rancor rather than you know going. Uh, all out uh, uh, media conflict, I mean, fighting each other. And we, we see, we see, like I mentioned earlier, we see these manifested in the results of the, of the party. In fact, some of the party's governorship candidates lost out uh, on their senatorial beats, like the, the governor of Benue uh, and so on and so forth. So, uh, who is also uh, one of the G5 governors, you remember. So, uh, like you rightly mentioned, yes, we have strong individuals and we must begin to look at ways to empower the institutions, the agencies, rather than individuals. I think to a later extent, that is what we, we saw with uh, President Buhari as well. If you allow me to digress a bit, we all think in 2015 is the Messiah that will come and rescue this country. We all place our trust in a single individual, but uh, the result is very glaring after eight years uh, for every Nigerian to see, whether you are a member of APC or the opposition, or apolitical as the case may be. So, um, so it, 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 is, it, is, it is a serious issue that we need to consider to empower our systems, to empower our institutions to work rather than uh, placing our trust on a single individual because it's, it's, it's not going no, to No, no, but uh, uh, Mohammed, Mohammed, I, I think that we, we, we need to just stay back, you know, with the course of the conversation now, which is uh, the party, you know, we're talking about our political party. And in this case, it's the crisis that's brewing within the People's Democratic Party. And, and of course, from the statement, looking at the clip that we saw, uh, we care already had you know, made it known that he's, he's, a, he's a force to recount with. And so how then is it that at the party level we constantly have um, persons who are stronger than the party itself, and in, including, you know, the constitution of the party? That's on the one hand. On the other hand, do, would you really blame, you know, Iyotra Ayu for not stepping down? Uh, where does the power of the party lies at the end of the day? Now, and if you say that, uh, him being the chairman of the party contravents the, you know, the laws of the party at the end of the day or the, the conventions and the, or the rulings of the party, then how come he wasn't removed? Were we expecting that he would step down voluntarily? Now, if he didn't step down voluntarily, uh, the party itself... Are you saying the party does not have the capacity, you know, to rewrite her wrongs and check the excesses? Yes, the, the party obviously have uh, the capacity to do so. Uh, but don't get me wrong. What I was trying to say, or what I'm trying to say is the fact that uh, you cannot have a divided house and uh, want to make a headway. Yes. Iyocha are you uh, as the, maybe we want to call him the former president, the former chairman of the PDP now, you know, stay put as the chairman then, because he had the backing of uh, the, the presidential candidates of the party. I mean, Atiku Abubakar and other stalwarts. And you know, Atiku Abubakar, they were on, in fact, he, he, didn't, he didn't campaign in River State for the presidential election. To tell you the loggerheads he had uh, uh, with, with, with Governor Wiki. And all because of the issues of, uh, of, of, of keeping Senator Iyocha Ayu as the, as the chairman of the party. So, uh, and we all know in Nigeria, in fact, no public service or no public servant actually resigns. Uh, because if, if, uh, if um, yes, like you said, if um, Iyocha Ayu had interest of the party uh, at heart, probably he would have... Um, uh, what's it called? He would have resigned himself, you know, just to save the party, just to save the, the face of the party from humiliation and defeat. But he himself didn't resign. So, and I think, yes, the party has the right to right is wrong, probably at what cost? At the cost that they've lost the general election mass, uh, 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 massively. So, uh, yes, they have the right to right the wrong, but like I said, at what cost? 
Is it not coming too late at the moment? Uh, will it will it will it right the wrong that is supposed to have done probably in the past? Probably if it have resigned probably five six months ago, will it have changed something for the party? So these are some of the questions we need to ask. Uh, but unfortunately, it's a party affair, uh, and I think they will be, uh, the, the PDP members will be will be best to 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 to, to right their their, their wrong the way they deem fit. Mm. Well, so n let me ask you now, do, do you think that this suspension is uh, based on the issue that's been on ground where you have the five governors who have been tagged, the G5 governors, insisting that are you Moscow, you can have, you know, the North dominating the entire space, uh, this need for the South-South at this point in time? Or you think that it's the fact that he lost, you know, his polling unit and the elections, the outcome of the elections, was not fantastic under his leadership. So what do you think is responsible, you know, for this removal? So what do you think is responsible? Yeah, I think it's a combination of both. Uh, but uh, I will I will go with the with the opinion of the fact that um, uh, like what Governor Wiki has been happening on that it's unfair that uh, the, the the chairman of the party should uh, should be from the from the north as well, where the presidential candidate comes from. That, to me, I think is a stronger uh, reason for, I mean, for some of the stalwarts of the party to instigate uh, uh, the, the executive members at the world level to, first of all, suspend the, the chairman before finally replacing him yesterday uh, with an acting chairman. So, but again, like I said, it still boils down to the fact that you have a divided house. It is, it is, if you are, if you are even a ruling party, it, it, will, it will affect you a lot, let alone you are a posi an opposition party. So uh, I think it's a combination of both. Uh, and it is the fact that the, 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 the crisis kept brewing up until the election. That also might have contributed in uh, the, the chairman losing a whole lot of uh, probably his word, his local government and so on. Mind you, even the governor who was against him, I mean, part of the G5 governors, uh, lost his electoral bid. So uh, it, 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 it means the crisis at the party, the crisis that that, that built before the general elections affected both lines. You know, Governor Wike, uh, if you permit me to go back, is a very strong man. He plays his politic, uh, uh, politics strongly. And probably that is why you see the ruling party, I mean, the APC won the presidential election in Rivers, even though there is a whole lot of controversy surrounding that. You see the PDP clinch the governorship, the National Assembly, uh, and then, I mean, the Senate and the House of Assembly majority in Rivers. Because uh, I think he, among the G5 governors, is a stronger force. You understand? He played his politics right. He knows his people better. And uh, what have you? Uh, so, but you know, if you want to castigate the the, the the former chairman of the party, I mean Senator Yocha Ayu, you look at even the state governor who was against him. I mean, uh, uh, the governor of uh, uh, Benue State, who lost his senatorial bid. You know, not too many governors lost their senatorial bids in Nigeria. You know, I mean, the Senate has become a retiring point for for most governors. So uh, it shows that the crisis, you know, affected. Uh, very many uh, of, of, of both sides, both G, the G5 governor side and the side supporting uh, the former chairman of the People's Democratic Party. Now, so, um, you know, just as a way of saying for an opposition, and because, because a lot of persons, there were expectations of the 2023 elections for the People's Democratic Party. And some people have thought that, you know, the opposition, major opposition, did not live up to her expectations. Uh, what are the lessons that you think that they should, you know, be paying attention to at this point in time? It's very simple and very visible and glaring to even, to, even the blind. Uh, the lessons is the fact that as an opposition, uh, you must be a united force. You must be very united in order to uh, to, to to gain power. Uh, you don't go to war uh, with a divided house. You know, you don't go to war. I mean, you you don't try to fight. Uh, uh, you know, an opponent with a divided force. Uh, it's it will definitely lead to failure. So it's very simple. 
I mean, um, with uh, so many of the uh, of the hardships uh, that Nigerians complain about, it was very simple that uh, probably Nigerians would have uh, preferred an opposition party. If I'm not talking even about the PDD alone now, if the, if the oppositions were united, probably give power to the opposition in general to say, okay, let's even test this party or this other party that we tested earlier on uh, to see what they will do since APC have uh, uh, not done well in this area and that area. But again, because the opposition generally, whether the PDP, the Labour Party and so on, and, and all other opposition parties, because they were not united. Remember, I kept, I, I kept saying the APC clinched power at the, at, at the top in 2015 because they were there were mergers you know you remember more than four or five parties even including uh new uh, governors from 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 pdp you know that were tagged and pdp the new pdp governors you know who had to cross carpet you know to support uh, uh the apc candidate then so at this point in time we what do we find we find that uh, the pdp the major opposition we are you know fighting each other uh internal conflict here and there not even at the general level even at the local and state level you have internal conflict here and there so this uh does not go well for uh the opposition so i think what i would say is that in coming elections the opposition must understand the power of unity and if uh if need be if there is any because we we mustn't shy away with that from that if there's any particular strong uh personality within the party you must try in as, as much as possible to 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 you know to give a level playing ground to everyone so that uh you can achieve uh, uh, your aim so so, so that is, that's my position i mean it's just very surprising that you know uh are you was also brought by wk to the system and <laughs> one would be wondering how everything went south at the end of the day in terms of the relationship. But of course, like you have mentioned, like we already know, the issue is that uh, you can't have power just within the north, especially the, you know, the chairman from the north and then Kandi from the north and everything from the north. There should be a balance of power. Uh, but uh, now that you have, are you himself going to court? What are your thoughts? He hopes to obtain the result and, you know, the outcome of the ruling. Uh, now, uh, I will leave that for the courts to decide. Uh, I think I don't think it's an opposition here to, to, to decide, but I think he have a case. Uh, he has a case, if I would say. Uh, so it's, it's left for the court to decide if they feel he wasn't removed constitutionally, I mean, according to the rulings and the... Uh, uh, the rulings of the PDP, then I think it's left for the court to decide. But I think he has a case. Uh, and if he's able to prove his case, uh, so be it. I'm sure the, the court to state him. But uh, until then, uh, we'll be watching from the sidelines. Now, but so, again, uh, now for those who are saying you have to remove are you and what have you, what about those who are also agitating it within the space of the party? Uh, the activities of these governors, the G5 governors, can be, you know, tagged as anti-party, uh, you know, activities or behavior. How come they haven't been suspended or removed by the party? We have seen it very glaring. I mean, it's no gainsaying, it's no, it's no hearsay that, you know, these governors had acted contrary to the interest of their party. Had acted yes, uh, in every game you also you, you always have a, uh, like a supporter and then an opposition. Definitely, um, if you remember, I mentioned he himself. I mean, uh, Senator Iota Ayu. If he was, if he had been active in the interest of the party, I think uh, it's, 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 it's nothing special for him to have resigned that position. You know himself and say, okay, fine. I think we need to have a united house. Even though I have supporters who want me to stay, but uh, let me resign so that we have probably a candidate from uh, maybe uh, uh, the south to come head the party, so that we can have a united uh, front to uh, to face the opposition. But he did. Uh, probably he was also uh, people definitely were there supporting him, like you mentioned, some of the governors, the senators, uh, and so uh, and what have you. So uh, it's uh, it's it's a two way thing, like I mentioned. You know. So. Yes, he has support, but, uh, you know, his conscience will be pricking him now, I'm sure, to say, uh, probably, uh, why, why, didn't have, why didn't I resign? Or, 
uh, you know, just just to just to just to make peace within. I mean, the party. Because I keep harping on this that uh, the lack of peace and the lack of unity within the party cost the party a lot. Uh, and like you rightly mentioned, why is only are you being suspended? Even though he's not the only person being suspended, you know. Uh, I mean, uh, okay, uh, those who were so who were suspended with him. I mean, former governor Ayo Delifai Osho of Ekiti State was uh, is being suspended as well. But you know, he's also part of those people who vehemently reject uh, the, the former PDP chairman. You know, at the helm of affairs. So uh, I I don't know the category categorical reason why. So, uh, some of his supporters were, on, were also not being uh, suspended. I can't tell you that. But what I know is that uh, he enjoys support from even uh, the presidential candidate. Uh, I mean, uh, I think no, 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 so, but, I mean, if you're saying that he's suspended, because now we understand that prior to this time, it was a case of uh, rotation of power, whether to the north or to the south. And that was the case where this governor had said he has to go. But now, at this point in time, uh, one of the excuse or reason for his removal is anti-party activities. I mean, there are several issues that has been, uh, you know, alluded to his removal or suspension, however you look at it. But on the other hand, again, let's get back to the person who is acting, uh, you know, chairman of the party. Now, he is also of the North Extraction. But what difference does he make? So are we still not, uh, is still not we now because we're not of the PDP? Uh, is the PDP not still back to where they were, conversing that you can't have, you know, the North dominating, uh, you know, almost entirely? Okay, so I think that we have been discussing. So, I mean, if, if, if he had to go, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Ayu had to go because at some point the G5 governors had put out their yeah, thoughts. And now and then you still have the acting chairman who's also still of the, you know, the nothing extraction. That's by the fact that, uh, you know, you have a sudden presidency. Uh, of course, the Southwest, if you like to say, at this point in time. But does it still not bring the party to the same conversation that they were having, you know, with the G5 governors? It does. It does. And that's... Uh, that's <laughs> that that makes the whole situation a bit funny you know um now if you're suspending the the chairman probably because of uh like the crisis that have been brewing earlier and then now even the, the person we are uh, the party has appointed in in acting capacity is also from the north you know so what does it say uh i don't want to preempt issues but it it, it seems rather than even the, the crisis that we keep happening on you know the fact that yes he's from north central the candidate also is from north then probably there is a there is a clash of ego you know between so many people i i can't say i'm not a member of pdp but what it seems is that probably there is a clash of ego between uh, uh, individuals not even uh, people fighting for the interest of the party anymore you know there is clash of ego yes i want to show you you know like we say in nigeria let me show you where i am i i, I mentioned that i will do this and i'm able to do that you know those kind of stuff that doesn't make a, a real sense so i think yeah it's um it, it's, it's really talking about maybe the clash of egos uh, between individuals or among individuals within the party rather than uh, a situation that that, that that talks about the progressiveness of the party uh, so that, that's what that's my opinion anyway this is what i i, I see it as mm. well we would definitely just leave it at that uh, uh muhammad abdullahi thank you so much for being part of the show this morning we do appreciate you and of course we hope that you join us sometime soon Thank you very much. Uh, well, that's the size of our show this morning on The Breakfast. Thank we you thank you so much for being part of the show. The uh, following us from 7 o'clock up until this moment, we will return tomorrow with more interesting headlines. And it's okay to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and give it to us on any of the social media platforms on YouTube or at Plus TV Africa, Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. My name is Messi Abuko. We'll return with the newsroom. Uh, joining the newsroom at 9 o'clock for the news brief, we ask that you stay with us.